All right. Hi. Today I am testing out and screwing about with the Birch Audio Ratlith. Now the Ratlith is, as may be apparent by looking, a rat style pedal. That is to say a distortion, a fairly heavy distortion in and of itself. Um, but with a Star Trek twist visually and not entirely sure if there is an audio component that is somehow Klingon. But uh, as a Star Trek nerd myself, when I was looking at distortion pedals, I felt I just this is the one I needed. Um, it's my first ever heavy style distortion, so I'm still dialing in what I like about it and what noises I like. But a few example noises, why not? Um, first of all, we don't have the regular gain uh, volume tone, for instance, or I don't exactly remember what the original Rat has. It's a d filter and, well, you know. More distortion, more loudness, and then sharper noises. That's kind of the three dials. Here we have honor, which is amount of distortion, glory, which is volume, and heart, which is basically the tone control, I would say. Um, if Super Strat Fernandez, I'm going to stick with the, probably going to stick mostly with the humbuckers. Uh, the humbucker, I should say. Uh, and uh, clean tone sounds like this. Um, throw on some Ratlith. Well, that's not much, is it? We need more. Okay. I think we need a bit more heart. That is to say, up the tone quite a bit. And because of my amp settings, I'm pretty sure it gets louder when I increase the heart as well, because there's a lot of treble coming out of the amp. Quite warm, and it really, it's quite clear as well, at least on the, you know, lower gain settings. It's still heavy, but you can certainly hear the, you can certainly hear the, like the entire chord, even if I... At least I can. I don't know how well the microphone is picking it up, but not this microphone. I have one by the amp. We up the uh, honor and we up the uh, hum a little bit. Okay, I'm liking this. My neighbors probably aren't. Uh, let's just try with the honor 
the most we can crank it. I'm going to have to finish this quickly because my neighbor's going to be ang angry with me. Well, that's with a humbucker. What about a single coil? Fairly hot single coils. In a Mexican telly. Pardon that, I haven't bothered bringing up my tuner. Immediately, with the honor on the max, I can't say there's, I, I hear that much of a difference between a single coil and a humbucker. Which makes sense when you think about it, because the rat, a rat style pedal does kind of take over, doesn't it? Let's try the bridge pickup. Oh, sorry, the neck pickup. Sharper. I like it. Dropping the heart a little bit. I gotta say, the heart knob, as it were, it's not that I don't like that I can tune that, but I definitely prefer that high at all times, it seems. All right, that's just a little bit of single coil. How about a little bit of... Different humbucker. I don't know if you... Oh, sorry about that. Don't know if you can actually tell. But this guitar is bigger than the others. It is a PRS-277. PRS-SE-277. Uh, essentially, a baritone guitar. And it's hot as hell. Whoops. Sorry about the misplacement. Definitely gonna have to increase the heart again. Does heavy, doesn't it? This pedal. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just getting a little giddy with it. I really shouldn't be this loud right now. It's Tuesday afternoon. It's probably not making my neighbors happy.
Not gonna lie, it's a bit of a beast. I'm hoping the recording keeps going now, because my computer just seemed to go into sleep mode, which is weird, while I'm recording. Um, anyways, that this is going up on YouTube completely unedited, so all the dumb things I've said is going to stay in there. Um, I like it. It's just, you know, on the whole, this being my first heavy distortion pedal, I'm glad this is the first one I went for. It's gorgeous, it sounds beast, and yeah, I like it. Um, you can probably contact Birch Audio immediately to get this. Um, this is in no way sponsored. Um, but I bought this and I went waited for a month to get it because of stupid, stupid USPS and PostNode. So, you know, not their fault. It's the delivery people's fault, but... <clears throat> I just wanted to make something to show this thing off because I only found one video doing so per, uh, previously. So yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, hope this was fairly informative, if not flawless, obviously. It's second time doing this. And yeah, thank you for watching and see you another time, I guess.